Wrecks can be hard to distinguish, but after 150 years, key features of the Iona II remain. It was a paddle steamer built for the Clyde. Many divers may not be aware of what they're looking for. Some, of course, simply enjoy the marine life of Lundy's conservation zone. And typically, on this trip from Ilfracum, there was a great sight to enjoy en route. The purpose of this trip, though, was to test the results of months of research by English Heritage and Wessex Archaeology, who've produced new illustrated underwater guides for experienced divers to help them explore the remains of the Iona II. So we've designed these underwater dive trails to help guide you around. Derek Green, the manager of Lundy Island, has seen the wreck many times, but is keen to learn more. It's one of the must-do dives for divers who come to Lundy. Yeah. It's not every diver that manages to find the wreck though, and so I'm hoping today that our new dive trail will enhance the, the whole experience for people visiting the island. The paddle steamer was built in 1863, but only lasted a couple of months in service. Designed as a fast river ferry, it was swiftly sold as a gun runner in the American Civil War, but never made its maiden voyage across the Atlantic. It was refuelling in Ireland, and a whole lot of the firemen refused to go to work. They said that the vessel was unseaworthy and wouldn't make the trip across to America. There was a magistrate's inquiry and they were either told that they had to go back to work or suffer 10 weeks hard labour in jail. They said, we're going to choose jail over going back to sea and three days later they were proved right when the vessel sank and right here. The wreck is one of only two that are protected around Lundy and divers are delighted to be able to take the additional information with them as they plunge. So good having the map and um, followed it all round. Uh, this wasn't as good as I'd like it to be but lots of pictures. But uh, yeah, lovely little dive, a little bit of tide running. Visibility was okay, you could see enough of the wreck. Uh, the guide worked well, it took me right to the stern post. Uh, and then we've done a, a, a lap, I met Lee on the stern post, post yeah. seen a lovely big lobster hiding underneath there. You're not just putting somebody in the water saying, here's the Iona, this is what it was. You'll be able to actually put them in the water and say, look, we've got this for you to follow. And they will be able to go off and be able to actually follow a, a chart and a trial. And it, yeah, I think it'd be good. From June the 14th, experienced divers will be able to get a free licence to explore the wreck and the valuable habitats it now supports. Richard Lawrence, ITV News, Lundy.